The Moon is Earth's natural satellite. But does the Moon really go round the Earth? Or does the Earth go round the Moon? The answer is a mixture of both. With the Earth and the Moon, they're actually both in orbit, around their common centre of mass. But what do we mean by that? These two tennis balls are of equal mass. Watch what happens when I throw them in the air. I've now got two more tennis balls, but with one big difference. This one is filled with lead. Now watch what happens when I throw this combination in the air. So when comparing those two demonstrations, we could clearly see a big difference. With these tennis balls, the ones of equal mass, we could see that both of them were orbiting a point about here, the midpoint of the system. This is the centre of mass of the system. It's the balance point of those two tennis balls of equal mass. With this set of tennis balls though, there was a big difference. The red one is filled with lead, and so the centre of mass, the balance point of this system, was much closer to the red ball, about here. And this was the point about which both of them were orbiting when thrown into the air, the centre of mass of the system. Now thinking about the Earth-Moon system, the centre of mass isn't in the middle, it isn't even over here. When we do the calculations, the centre of mass of the Earth-Moon system is about here. And this is the point around which both the Moon and the Earth are orbiting in a gravitational dance taking just under one month to complete. So this gravitational dance around the centre of mass will apply to any objects orbiting each other. And this principle means that Gaia may well discover thousands of exoplanets orbiting their parent stars, hidden worlds that at the moment remain unknown to us, but not perhaps for much longer.